next few years, the U.S. armed forces will equip their infantry in all frontline formations with new light weapons. These will be assault rifles and light machine guns from the XM series. The manufacturer and designer of this weapon is Sig Sauer, and the customer is the U.S. Army. What will American soldiers have on the front line in the future? Until 2032, Sig Sauer will produce XM7 rifles to replace the famous M4, and XM250 light machine guns will replace the M249 Minimi. Never before has the U.S. military chosen a new infantry weapon so quickly. The procedure took 27 months, while previously, it took 8 to 10 years. Why was the U.S. military looking for new weapons in the first place so quickly? There are several reasons. Existing weapon systems and calibers have many problematic features. The U.S. military wants the best for its personnel on the front lines. Along with the extensive use of powerful, precise, and deadly weapons, drones, and artificial intelligence, for American power to be complete, the soldier in the trenches must have the best possible weapons. The fundamentally new XM system consists of three subsystems, the weapons, ammunition, and fire control systems themselves. Sig Sauer makes the weapon. For those unfamiliar with the small arms world, Sig Sauer specializes in producing high-quality pistols and rifles for the military, police, and civilian markets. Originally from Switzerland, everything works like clockwork, both Western and Eastern calibers. The XM7 rifle has a barrel life of 12,000 rounds fired, it's more than competition. The standard M4 has a maximum barrel life of 10,000 rounds. Here we come to the ammunition, caliber 6 pv one or 277 Fury. The caliber is the essence of the idea of creating a new rifle, and that is the penetration of cheap, but increasingly high-quality protective ballistic vests of Russian or Chinese production. The US military needed a new caliber because the old, stronger 762 NATO was too heavy and had a lot of recoil that hurts soldiers' performance on the battlefield, aiming, and, above all, concentration. Also, at longer distances, 7.6, 2 NATO loses strength and penetrating power. The situation is similar to the standard 556-45 mm NATO bullet, which is used by all assault rifles of the US Army and NATO member countries. There are small breakthroughs at longer distances, but the results could be more impressive, even in close combat. The initial kinetic energy of the new 6.851 grain at the mouth of the 16-inch barrel is up to 3,653 joules, similar to the 7.62 NATO grain. However, the recoil is significantly weaker. By comparison, the initial kinetic energy of a 5.56 NATO is 1,464 joules. At 500 yards, the standard distance for testing the ultimate accuracy of assault rifles, 556 NATO has only 694 joules. That's similar to the power of a pistol bullet at close range, and it can't penetrate any body armor, not even soft armor. On the other hand, the new 6.8 at 500 yards has a fantastic 1,900 joules, more bust than the initial energy of the 5.56. The new American bullet is superior in all parameters, Remember that the 6.8 weighs almost 9 grams, twice as much as the 556, and is more resistant to wind blows and other meteorological conditions. The grain energy expressed in J is the main element of the penetration of the new bullet. Theoretically speaking, the 6.8 will be able to penetrate all protective soft armor vests or ballistic helmets, even at distances of 500 meters. Also, suppose they want to save their lives safely. In that case, potential American enemies will have to wear heavier ballistic vests, because 6.8 will be the limit to break through standard Russian 5A and BR-5, American Ni J-3, Chinese Gia-5, and European PM-8. Simply, the energy of the 6.8 grain is slightly stronger, or similar to the Russian sniper bullet 7.62 or 7.62 NATO. You're probably wondering how good a shooter you must be to hit a human-sized target at 500 yards or meters, the answer is the XM157 fire control system. It has variable optics of 1 to 8 times magnification. And the most important thing, laser rangefinder, ballistic computer, atmospheric sensor, compass, laser target marker in a visible and invisible infrared spectrum, and a digital display. Marksman needs to be calm and move on. It should be emphasized that, at least for now, not all US military personnel will receive new rifles. New weapons will be given to infantrymen, cavalry scouts, combat engineers, combat medics, and forward observers. For now, it is planned to purchase 120,000 rifles and machine guns, 
The price is enormous, $4.7 billion for armaments. And for fire control system, $2.7 billion. Sig Sauer will initially make the ammunition, and the Army will begin production of the new ammunition at the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant in Missouri. The production capacity is more than 1 billion rounds per year. Critics of this solution can also say what are the disadvantages of the new XM system. A shooter with an XM7 rifle will have 70 fewer rounds in their combat kit and about 2.5 kilos or 5 pounds more of payload. The combat kit of the M4 is 210 and the XM7 is 140 rounds. A shooter with an XM250 light machine gun will have 200 fewer rounds in their combat kit and 3.6 pounds or 1.5 kilograms more cargo. The XM250 will have 400 rounds in the combat kit and the current M249 light machine gun has 600 rounds. However, shooters will now use far less ammo because they have an almost perfect optical sight. And let's remember, both the XM7 and XM250 have suppressors, which, in addition to sound, reduce flash and smoke when fired, which protects users of the new weapon from enemy fire. In conclusion, the Army ordered 111,000 rifles, 13,000 machine guns, and 124,000 fire control systems. The new weapon is undergoing operational testing, and the start of delivery, further training, and active use is expected in 2024.